What's up, Hoopers? It's Coach Alex from Think Pro Basketball. And in today's video, we're going to go over the top five moves that every shooting guard should know. Let's get started. All right, guys, so again, we're going to talk about the five moves that every shooting guard should have in their game. This is going to allow you to score more points, beat your defender off of the dribble, catch and shoot, just give you a bunch of opportunities to score the basketball. Now, before we actually dive into it, go ahead. I got a free workout for you. Click the link that's in the description. It's going to send you straight to our website. And all you have to do once you get there is enter your email address, and we will send you a free workout today straight to that email inbox. Now, let's dive into it. Let's get started with the five moves that every shooting guard must know. First move we're going to start with is a simple step back move, one that you can use to create space and opportunity for yourself to get a shot off. So I'm going to demonstrate this from the wing area and what we want to focus on when this move is creating that space, creating that separation in order to get your shot off. Now these moves that we go over today can be done anywhere on the floor. You're not just limited to this one spot that I'm demonstrating. So make sure when you practice and you get your reps up, you're focusing on all areas on the court. So as I demonstrate this move, the first thing you want to do is set your defender up, whether that's just a simple dribble, um, setting them up that way, or if you're using a jab step to get them off. But the main focus is when you attack, your move that you have to do with this is you have to sell the drive. So if I'm driving towards the middle, I've got to get my defender to believe that I'm trying to get to the basket. Because if I just stand straight up and I'm not getting them to do anything, that's an easy defensive play for them to make. So as I drive, I'm driving hard to the basket. If they cut me off, this is when I'm going to use my step back. I'm going to plant off that inside foot. So in this case, it's my left foot. I'm going to plant hard and I'm going to push off. That's that space and separation I was talking about earlier that's going to allow you to shoot your basket. So when I get in here again, I'm coming off, boom. I see that defender's on my hip. Okay, it's time to create space. I take that step back and I'm squared up to the basket. A lot of players, when they shoot a step back, are continuing to fade out or to the side. Get to that spot, plant, lift off, and get some good lift and arc on that release that you're shooting on that step back. So one more time, let's break it down. As we go, we're attacking. Defender's on my hip. Boom, create that space with that step back. I square up to the basket. I rise up and I shoot it. A great move that every shooting guard should have in their game if you're trying to score some more points. So let's go ahead, let's take a look at the step back in full speed. All right, well, let's talk about and let's move on to the next move. Now, this is a move that every shooting guard should have. If you're able to shoot the ball very well, you have to have a pump fake in your game. Why? Because it's going to activate the defenders. They're going to leave their feet, and it's going to create opportunities for you to score the basketball. So again, if I'm out here on the wing, there's a couple different ways that you can do this. Either on your catch, if somebody's penetrating and they kick out for a jump shot, you can use your pump fake, watch the defender fly by, take one simple dribble right into your pull-up jumper. That's just an easy way of doing it. Now, if you want to get advanced, what you can do is use a pump fake to a jumper. So as I attack, same thing as a step back. We got to believe, make the defender believe we're going in for a drive. We stop on a dime, we shot fake, we show the ball, we reset, we're back into our shot. So what this move is going to allow you to do is when you attack, your defender's on your hip, boom, you stop on a dime, you shot fake, they fly by, you reset, you're all alone, and it's bucket time. You put the ball in the basket. That's what you've got to be able to do. So I'm going to show you the advanced version of the shot fake, what we call a shot fake to a shot. Make sure you get to your spot, you show the ball high, watch that defender fly by, and get your two points. So let's take a look at what the shot fake looks like in full speed. All right, let's move on to move number three, the sidestep. Another great move to create space and opportunity for you to score the basketball as a shooting guard. So this is the same type of thinking 
as a step back, but now instead of going forward and back, we're just going straight side to side. So with this move again, we're gonna spin it out to ourselves. we're going to catch it. We're gonna jab just to get our defender to respect the possibility of us driving. So as they do that, they're gonna take a step back. So we're gonna jab, we're gonna take one hard dribble, we're gonna take a second, and then we're gonna sidestep to create extra space and separation. So what that jab step does to your defender, they take a step back. Now on that dribble, they've gotta react. That second dribble, they relax. You create that space and separation and your ability to knock down that jumper is what is key to this move. So one more, one more time for you, we're gonna come into it. Jab, get the defender off, one dribble. Relax a little bit, kind of like a hesitation dribble. Then on that second one, you're gonna plant to the side, rise up and shoot your three. So it's important you really get your defender to bite on your jab step and relax on that hesitation dribble and then knock down that side step jumper. So let's take a look at this move in full speed. Move number four requires you to put the ball on the floor. If you're a guard, you have to be able to handle the basketball and you have to be able to break down your defender. So what we're gonna talk about now is being able to use a combo move in order to get past your defender. So have something in your back pocket that you can pull out and use on your defender. Anything you want, as long as it's a double combo move, meaning you have to use two moves, a double crossover, crossover between the legs, double behind the back, whatever you want. So what I'm gonna demonstrate here is just a simple double behind the back, get my defender leaning and guessing, and I'm getting to the basket. I wanna be able to break him down, not always looking for my jump shot, but being able to be versatile and getting to the basket, mixing my game up, not always shooting jumpers, but being able to put the ball on the floor and get to the hoop. So with this move, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come at my defender. I'm gonna use a double behind the back move, and I'm getting all the way to the rim to score. But the main focus is have a move or a couple of moves that you can use that you know is going to break down your defender so you can get by them, get to the basket, make a play for a teammate, whatever it is. But you've got to be able to handle the ball as a shooting guard. Yes, you are a shooting guard, but you have to be able to handle the ball. All guards must be able to do that. So let's take a look at what the combo move looks like in full speed. The last move that we're gonna talk about is one that you can use in transition off of a pick and roll when attacking a big man is the Euro step. You see guys in the NBA that love using this move, Manny Ginobili, James Harden, Russell Westbrook, all types of players love using the Euro step. So what we're gonna do with this move, again, we wanna attack from the wing area. Now when we attack, the main focus is the move at the end. So when we're attacking and there's a defender in front of us, we're gonna use our Euro step, planting our first foot, making sure the defender still thinks that we're continuing our path to this side of the basket. But nope, we're gonna stop on a dime on that foot, we're gonna change direction and finish right at the basket. Now what is this doing for you? Number one, you're coming down full speed. Your defender has to guess on where you're going. So this is the perfect move. You're coming at him hard, boom, you plant that foot right in front of him, you swing and protect that ball away, you take that side step, you get to the side of the basket, and you score. A great move to use, like I said, in transition off of a pick and roll when you're attacking a defender who has to guess what you're doing. So let's go ahead, let's take a look at this Euro step in full speed. All right guys, well we've just gone over five different moves for shooting guards that you must have in your game in order to be successful. So make sure you're getting out to the gym, you're getting out to the park, you're in the driveway, 
and you're putting this work in so you can put these moves in game situation so you can use them in your game time. Get your shot, get to the basket, mix it up. Be a versatile shooting guard where you can make jumpers and get all the way to the basket. Now, I've told you about that free workout I've got for you. Click the link that's in the description. It's gonna send you straight to our website. All you have to do is enter your email address so we can send you that free workout today. Also, subscribe to our channel, Think Pro Basketball. Join the Think Pro Basketball family because every week we release brand new videos that'll help you become a better player, whether it's your shooting, passing, scoring, defense. We have it all at Think Pro Basketball. Also, click the like button, leave a comment, let us know what you think and what you wanna see for future videos so we can continue to help you improve your game. That's why we're here. Now, get out there, get the reps and sets up, use the entire court, get your shots up, get to the basket and finish. But make sure you put these moves into your game if you're trying to be a great shooting guard. So until I see you again next time, hit the gym, hit the court, put the work in, and remember to always keep hooping.